When you talk about bodacious women of history, I would bet money that very few of you think of NASCAR. Even fewer might think of Sarah Christian, the first female driver in NASCAR racing and to this day, the only woman to place in the top five of a national race in NASCAR series history. So who was Sarah Christian? Born Sarah Williams on August 25th, 1918 in Dahlonega, Georgia, little is known about her life before she married bootlegger and race car driver Frank Christian and started racing herself. Early race cards often held women-only powder puff races that ran for 10 to 15 laps, and Sarah's first known race was a 15-lap powder puff in which she took first place and a $1,000 purse. That's $12,588 in 2023 money. Don't take the name powder puff lightly, though. These women meant business. Sarah's first race against men took place in July 1948 in Augusta, Georgia. Before the race, one of the male drivers told her that she belonged in the kitchen and not on the racetrack. How did Sarah respond? She whooped him and many other men to take 10th place in $200. One of my favorite stories about Sarah is when she raced at Looper Speedway, now submerged into Lake Lanier. 16 male drivers threatened to boycott if she was included, but the owner, Max Looper, backed her, partly because her appearance had tripled the normal attendance to 6,000 people. There she won her heat, took pole position, that's starting first if you're not a race fan, and won the feature race, where she beat well-known racer and bootlegger Gomer Sosby and earned $500. She pissed off a lot of people that day and had to start learning to fight back. Another favorite story is when a racer tried to drive her into a wall and she not only recovered, but hunted him down and ran him off the track into the mud, ending his race and going on to place well. In an interview, when asked if male drivers resented her, she responded, certainly not. I'm one of the boys out there. I ask no favors and I give none. We get along fine. The second race of NASCAR's inaugural season was notable for having not one, but three women in it. Sarah, Ethel Flock Mobley, sister to the infamous Flock Brothers, and Louise Smith. These two queens get their own videos, though. It was so novel that they held a special three-lap race between them, which Sarah handily won. That same year, she finished sixth at the notoriously dangerous Langhorne Speedway in Pennsylvania, and wild man Curtis Turner invited her to join him in the victory lane. Sarah took home the American Drivers Association Women Driver of the Year Award that year. Did I mention she was also mother to a young boy named Tommy throughout all of this? Moms can definitely kick ass. Overall, Sarah raced in six out of eight NASCAR events in 1949 and placed 13th overall. However, later that year, she flipped her car eight times at the Lakewood Speedway in Atlanta and fractured two vertebrae. Doctors recommend she sleep on a board for six months, and it took her almost a year to recover. She entered a regional race the following spring in Pennsylvania, finishing third, and competed in one NASCAR race in 1950, finishing respectable 14th. Due to complications from her injury, Sarah retired after that race, and not much is known about her life after that. But what a woman and what an impact she made on a sport known for its male domination. Sarah Christian paved the way for future female racers in no uncertain terms, and she did it with grit and grace. She passed away in her hometown of Dahlonega, Georgia on March 7, 1980, and was inducted into the Georgia Automobile Hall of Fame in 2004 to be rightfully remembered as a badass woman of history.